cinema. The cinema. No. I share the disappointment of many that we've not found more support on the other side of the aisle for legislative responses to state level voting restrictions. I wish that were not the case. Overnight, Moto Latino, a nonprofit aimed at helping young Hispanic and Latino voters, launched the Audio Cinema campaign. I, I think she's tilted too far to the to the to the right. I hope she doesn't like really screw things up. The day after Election Day, Senator Kirsten Sinema tweeted for voters to stay patient as votes are counted, stating, quote, democracy is worth the wait, to which you replied, quote, thanks for all of your help this year. What do you hope Senator Sinema learned from this year's midterms? I don't think she'll learn. Uh, look, this year, the reason Democrats won is because we fought together as a party. I was out there campaigning for every Democrat in Arizona. I was personally donating money, raising money for them, uh, for our senators, for everyone up and down the ticket. Uh, we fought as a team in Arizona and we won. Senator Sinema was nowhere to be found at all. You did not see her at one public event for anybody. At the end of the day, you have two Democratic senators that just don't believe in governance. I mean, you literally had Senator Kirsten Sinema that said she doesn't believe that DC is gonna have a solution to this. Girl, what? So this is literally what we're sent here to do. And in June, in June should be a month of action on Capitol Hill. I hear all the folks on TV saying, why doesn't Biden get this done? Well, because Biden only has a majority of effectively four votes in the House and a tie in the Senate with two members of the Senate who vote more with my Republican friends. But we're not giving up. Earlier this year, the House of Representatives passed For the People Act to protect our democracy. The Senate will take it up later this month, and I'm going to fight like heck with every tool in my disposal for its passage. Does she have the guts to take on powerful special interests? No, she doesn't. She is a corporate Democrat uh, who has, in fact, along with Senator Manchin, sabotaged enormously important legislation. But the Democrats there are not all that enthusiastic about somebody who helped sabotage some of the most important legislation that protects the interests uh, of working families and voting rights and, and so forth. What do you think of her decision and also what you just heard in her interview with Jake? I don't want to spend a whole lot of time uh, on Senator Sinema. She has her reasons. Uh, Donna, I happen to suspect that it's probably a lot to do uh, with politics back in Arizona. Would you support a Democratic opponent against Senator Sinema? I, I don't. I, I support progressive candidates all over this country, people who have the guts to take on powerful special interests. I don't know what's going to be happening in Arizona. We'll see who they nominate, but certainly that's something I will take a hard look at. Jamal Bowman tweeted, the following by Felicia after news broke about cinema. You know, I think that in Arizona, this is going to be a difficult election if it's a three way race. Um, but I really think that I have a lot of faith in the voters of Arizona to understand who is going to vote, who is going to work for them. And let's see what the next two years bring. And when we have some of these races that are really uh, in, in the mix right now, she could have been a very good uh, surrogate to help out uh, a lot of our candidates. And she she did nothing because she only cares about herself. Uh, she doesn't care about how this would help you know us take control of the Senate. She actually predicted that we'd lose control of the Senate in front of Mitch McConnell uh, while she was getting a war from him. So uh, 